All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Violet, Violet Evergarden, Evergarden, episode eight. eight. Oh, she knows. She knows, and she's running. Yep. 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 All the happy little wholesome and emotion-filled mm -hmm. uh, side mini episodes are probably over. Now yeah, we're or at least they're the... probably not going to do that for this one. No, no, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> we got into a little bit of. Uh, kind of contextual stuff with how they found Violet and uh, stuff that mm -hmm. she seems to not really recall maybe because of the traumatic aspect of the situation or maybe yes. she has some form of amnesia um, yeah I mean yeah yeah there's Crazy a lot stuff. we don't know about Violet there's a lot we don't know about her yeah. and I think that if this is, there was ever a time to do it this would be the time to start trickling in some new things. Sure, because, yeah, we know so much about how the person she is now. Right. We need right. to know about the person that she was. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's going to be crazy, guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we we're kind of joining back at that previous scene. Mm hmm. With Mr. Diet Fried. Yeah. Jeez. A barking villain indeed. Yeah. Oh. It's the, you haven't seen what she's done uh -huh, side yeah. of things. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get the feeling I'm going to really like this episode. Yeah, I, I get the feeling I'm going to very much be angry at certain things story-wise that'll happen in this episode oh yeah but um i'm going to love the episode yeah oh. i think we did pretty well on that one yeah Okay, like the light reflecting, like shifting as it reflects off of the metal hand, like. Yeah, I, I just, like, I, I think about, like, beauty when it comes to anime series, mm -hmm. and this show is really the only thing that, like, comes that yeah. close, you know, to just true beauty. The singing yeah. of beauty and sadness. Like, the fact that visually, the only other thing I can really compare this show to Shash. is your name. Like... <clears throat> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nah. <laughs> <laughs> She's emotional. <laughs> Calls him Captain. Oh. oh, I wonder how he'll respond if she tells him what Gilbert said. But see, he seems to know so certainly that uh, she's a tool, you know? Oh. 
Okay. Oh, I love this song. Oh. Jeez. Wow. Oh. 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 She wouldn't sit still. Mm -hmm. She was scared. Oh, yeah. Well, and, okay, I love that the the lady there has a brooch just like what Mm -hmm. Violet ends up getting. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, oh. Told you something in this episode would make me angry. This is the. Yeah. You know, the trauma of. You know. Oh. No. Yeah, that's that's not going to happen. Mm. The way they just Ugh. showcase her eyes, mm-hmm. it's yeah. something where you expect there to be all this emotion in there, and yet you're met with the contradiction of her being just inert. Right. But, but there is still, like, an emotion there. It's this, like, it looks like there's almost this, like, like curious just observing. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Kyoto Annie doing action. Here she goes. <laughs> and he's watching this happen. Uh-huh. And there's nothing in her eyes. Yep. Yeah. 
and in some wow. ways she made it potentially a you know a a success that could have turned into a failure but they turned back into a success you know uh-huh jeez oh. oh okay not only does that look really cool but yeah. i love the timing of putting it in right yeah there. Oh, she just walked the entire way there. Aww. Look at her. Look at her. Mm-hmm. The color's gone. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Look, mm -hmm. it's like she's pseudo smiling, like yeah, yeah. Compared to the report, <gasps> oh, and that's wow. oh. and that was the letter uh -huh. back then. Yeah. She wanted to tell, give him a report. Oh, oh. oh that's right. She's mm -hmm. she's gonna freaking dig up the grave. No, well, no, they said that they didn't find the bodies. So. I know, but like the fact that oh oh right because mm -hmm. if they didn't yeah. find a body, then why would she dig right. up the grave? I was but, thinking, but like, she could. I would not be surprised if she went and tried to find the body. Yeah. the hair mm -hmm. oh yeah oh whoa whoa oh hmm Here we go at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I love it whenever an anime focuses on footsteps. Like, <laughs> yeah, mm. she found something. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And then he's all focused on her eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Uh -huh. 
I really would love to get inside his head, you know? Ah. The the idea there that uh, oh, there's also the idea that she basically values him more than herself mm -hmm. potentially, you know. Normal, well, it's her. Definitely. It's where her existence is put in. Right. She doesn't see herself as being, mm -hmm. you know. But why, see, why is he so sad? Like, you see it here. I, and it's like, it's like he's broken hearted. Well, it's because he knows what, you know. What, what she's, she's dealing what, with. And well, what, what she's need, like, being, made, being to made to do. Yes. And he's sort of allowing it, going yes. along with it, you know. But, like, we don't know if he loves her at this point if it's mm -hmm. a thing of him saying right yeah it's like the emotions in him are so complicated that they're never going to be as right. overt with them <laughs> <clears throat> hello mr colonel hodgins hmm <clears throat> Mmm. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so adorable. Yeah. Uh, wait so remember that flashback a oh. long time ago where we had a bunch of people watching uh -huh. violet that so the, the training, training barracks, barracks incident that was that was hurt their own men yeah gotcha yeah okay uh -huh. that definitely explains why diet fred doesn't like her yeah Wow. So, yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And that's cool because mm -hmm. that basically establishes that he doesn't think ill of Violet, you know. Right. Even but also, he knows that she's also the one she that... might have, you know, thought about that. Him saying that might be a good idea. Oh, and sure. her agreeing to work, you know, for for Colonel Hodgins. Oh, because he was thinking of having. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, that fire looks real. Yeah, it's also 2D. Like, that's all frames drawn, you know. Holy crap. And they won't get to talk about this some other time. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, you know what? You know what? What? The artillery fire comes from their own people. 
Oh. So it's going to be artillery fire from friendlies oh, yeah. that ends up killing him. She's now gotten better at making sure the lamp doesn't break and catch fire. Uh-huh, yeah. Cover the sound of their movements. Wow. Oh. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. I kind of want Kiddo Eddie to do a lot more like action shows now. Yeah. Wow. This could be very, very bad. Wait. It's too open, too quiet, and they're it's not moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Has he been shot? Looks fine, actually. Whoa! Jeez! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That's a good flare. That's a great flare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh, is he already shot? Yeah, I think at least once. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, and they don't even... Oh, no. okay. That was a rude, rude cliffhanger. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think back to when we remembered him dying and stuff. I think he might have been missing an eye. Yeah. yeah. Was it just always shut? I think so. Yeah, I think it was just Holy always shut. Holy crap. Then. Wow. Wait. He survived <laughs> that long? I Hey, sure. I believe it. Holy crap. Crazy things happen. Which it almost makes seemed even... like it shot him from the uh, from the back, though. Or was it shot from the front and it went like a glancing blow off the side? Because that's so lucky. Oh, that's a good point. It could have been that it, it would have to go through his could, head. You well, know? well, or it could have. Yeah, it could have been a glancing blow off the helmet, basically that chipped the helmet and the shrapnel from the helmet, like damaged his eye or something. Or, but no, I think he turned around to like look at her. Yeah, and that's, and that's why I was. I don't know. It just happened so fast. Eye. Yeah, but that also explains why he was basically telling her to just go because he's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm already dead." Like, like yeah, even before the the well, rebel and all that stuff. Right. Like, that's why I'm thinking I'm misinterpreting what happened. This might not be the last, you know, fight. Then. Uh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that like they did this, and you'd think it would go up to that point, but they don't. It doesn't. Wow. That was an episode. Action. Action. Yeah. Kyoto action. Annie, like, military hype action. With, of course, you know, then the amazing emotional moments and stuff all surrounding it. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, 
I think we were both very much right about our predictions for this episode. One being this one that we would both like a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but also having some things in it for me that makes me angry because it yeah. sets up without even having him being there. We've been calling him Diet Fried Bargain Villain because uh-huh. we hate the guy already. Right. We know he's Deep Fry, Deep, deep Fried Bo- Bogan Villa, Villa. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. He's, a, he's Diet Fried to us. Yeah. The thing is, is that we know for a fact that there was a period of time between. Um, you know, Violet uh, at the training camp. At the training camp, and yeah. Violet uh-huh. being given to um, uh, Gilbert. Gilbert, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And in that time, yeah. Who knows? Well, yeah. Who knows? Because because here's the thing. Yeah, it could it could be abuse. It could just be that she's being a killer. Is all she, she was, knows. At she that was point. made into a weapon. Right. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who cares? Yep. My question is, why was she at this training camp to begin with? Oh yeah, yeah. What uh-huh. the heck yep. made her this mm-hmm. way? And and they who might... did it? Yeah. Whose face can I pummel in? You know, because right. And I get the feeling they might not. They might not really explain it. It's just sort of the thing of, you know, this happened. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. This this kind of thing really gets me because what they're doing with Violet is they've mm-hmm. set her up to be basically this this perfect picture of innocence mm-hmm. in visual appearance. Yep. And then you look into her eyes, you look closely and you see something I see that's the point of saying something because what what should be the human aspects of her seem mm-hmm. to have been beaten out of her. Or Pretty have much. been yeah. like drained out uh-huh. of her, yep. and it's yep. it's depressing. And now I think I get a little bit more of what you were talking about earlier. This is why Gilbert's emotions look mm-hmm. so sad and look right. so downtrodden and depressed and stuff is because he's seeing it too, uh-huh. but he can't communicate that to her properly. Right. And and he's there's not, no way she's going to understand. Yeah. Right, and he's not doing the thing that his conscience is probably telling him to do. Of I just need to get this girl away from all of this. Right, right, yeah. Um, so you know so he feels guilty right he feels guilty you know probably feels cowardly and all that stuff but you know then okay well if if she's here i'll 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 do my best to to give her the best possible outcome from this situation (sighs) yeah and (sighs) yeah and she's the one that ends up kind of saving him only for it to not really mean anything Uh uh-huh wow and that bit okay the the a lot of parts from this episode hit hard and Mm -hmm. and i can't even say that this was the one that hit the most Mm -hmm. but the one that came to mind was um the part where teaches her to read and then says okay write a report and he's like okay this is good for you i want you to write me a report every day and it's like wow okay um all right it's, she's right. like she's like thinking in her head. It's been sixty five days since I made a report, or mm-hmm. it's been you know one hundred and fifty right. something days since I've made a report to yep yep you yep know, yep the major mm-hmm. and and it's something that brings in the context of the very first episode of when oh, yeah. she's trying to oh, write yeah. a letter, which we now know to be a report. Yep, and and, <laughs> and the idea that in a lot of ways the the whole. Like, we knew that the reason that she was working as an auto memoir doll and was sticking with it and all that stuff was because she wanted to be able to properly, yeah. one, understand what I love you means, but also maybe understand how to write a proper report, yeah. you know, on maybe how that made her feel or, or whatever yeah. to to the major. And, and that, that, yeah, so. Oh. It's yeah. something that uh, the show doesn't have a lot of time. So no, it it's doesn't. A, it's, a, it's a one course show, so they mm-hmm. have to be very clever with how they yep. decide to go after things on the emotional scale right. it's spe- of yeah. things. So yeah. with having Violet be already set up as being someone who can kill mm-hmm. and move on the battlefield properly, yep. we don't need to really know why she can do that. Right. But specifically with the emotional stuff i do feel like the show owes us some explanation as to why she is this way emotionally it is somewhat able to be extrapolated Mm -hmm. by the fact that she has past experience 
in the army, mm -hmm. but it seems like they're going to go into that. So if they go into that, then they have to go into... It's it's a little bit of a snowball effect. Yeah. So at right. some point, the show is going to have to put a cap on things and basically mm -hmm. say, "We're not going to explain any more past this point." Right. And I think that's that's something that the show needs to be careful about because okay, I could see this show basically going into the we should have gotten a second season or we should be getting a second season, but we probably won't because no one will spend this much money. <laughs> I don't know. Kyoto Annie has... Kyoto Annie is now, like... yeah, one of my favorite studios of all time because this exists. Yeah. Like, this get... is this is A-grade quality. This is some oh, yeah. movie oh, yeah. quality animation brightness. Absolutely. Not brightness. Uh, lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Colors. Oh, oh, all of it. Yeah, I get the feeling. I wonder if this was actually the reason that they made it be a one course show. Okay, is that they basically said, okay, we could make a two course show, mm -hmm. or we could take that same two course show budget, right, and have it be one core. That okay. way, we could make sure that it just blows people away. Hmm. And I like, I feel like that might have been what they decided to do, and that's really gutsy because the plot is very, very simple. Even with like Violet's backstory and everything. Yeah. So if they don't show us specifically all the things in her backstory why she's like this emotionally and all that right i'm okay with it because there aren't many options as far as interpretation goes right sure it's it's pretty condensed pretty simple and the things that she did in the military are not what's really the most important right it's, that's it's that's true that's yeah. still backstory stuff so they're able to properly focus on basically developing all the subtleties of her emotions and and all that stuff and just her whole journey of learning about herself and what it means to say i love you yeah which is very impressive and it's like if any other studio were to try to do that i get the feeling it would just kind of flop but yeah the uh, the other thing uh, with this episode was that we got to see basically the defensive side of violet getting cured by the major uh essentially okay, being yeah. um mm -hmm. that he right. by his connection to her removed that fear mm -hmm. from her now yep. she still has the abilities yep. she still has all the capacity mm -hmm. but it seems like the the instincts mm -hmm. Uh, were smoothed over. Yep, and she doesn't oh, have yeah. any of that fear, or any mm -hmm. of that aggressiveness, any of that reactionary, yep. snap kind of uh, impulsiveness. Mm -hmm. And something to be said for that is that this happened while she was going around killing people, yes, and being mm -hmm. a weapon of war mm -hmm. for oh, the yeah. most part. So it showcases yeah. in some way mm -hmm. that you know one's being who they are mm -hmm. can in some ways i see i see basically love and human connection yep. and all mm -hmm. these other things as being the protective barriers around that core innocent part of ourselves sure despite all this crazy stuff uh -huh. going on around it yep so in some ways with her realization that uh, gilbert's dead she now has those barriers crashing down, so she needs to put back up in some ways um, something equivalent of that based around the human connections and love okay. that she's experienced yeah. from all the people in the previous episodes. Right, because the I I love what you were saying about how that her instincts were all based on basically fear at the right. beginning, right? Mm -hmm. And, well, what's the opposite of fear? Love. Love, Yeah. right? So that was fine. Made all fears go away. Mm -hmm. But now, that which she loved is no longer around. Right. So. And we know, based on the thing that you were mentioning previously, mm -hmm. that she doesn't value herself as much as she values uh -huh. the major. So, in some ways, her identity was put into the major. Right. And, and now that yeah, and of he's course dead, a part of her has died. Exactly. And that's. The, the, huh, that, yeah. She was in love, right? <laughs> yep. and, and now now she kind of figures needs to figure out not just what i love you means but but how she is going to love and i'm not talking right. about like you know some some random other dude right not not like she's gonna grab benedict and be like i love you you know but like but the idea that basically that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm laughing at that but i'm being also 100 percent serious about anything with the uh 
um, with Hodgins. With Hodgins. Or, or oh yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, no, please, no, God, no. Yeah. But it's the idea that basically, in a lot of ways, she needs to sort of learn to love herself, mm. right? And that can be the thing to banish away her fear. Or to allow others to love her. Sure. Basically. Yeah, that people too. People like them, yeah. Hodgins, mm-hmm. but also, you know, Catalia. And all the other Iris, people she's met. Like, all the other people she's met. Luculia. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. yeah. And yep. ha- having those connections won't replace the major. Oh, yeah. Not at all. But, but in some ways, it will allow her to move past the major. Right. It will allow her to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's something I'm, I'm curious about. The uh, I'm kind of switching subjects here, but it, okay. it, it ties in just just a little <clears throat> bit. Do you think that they chose a dark kind of mission, a mission where everything is in nighttime, uh-huh. to not just be clever with you know uh, lighting, you know stuff, basically where yeah. where things are are dulled over and stuff, but to showcase a visual metaphor for something with regards to this side of her personality being the darker side, the one that's uh, maybe Possibly. just hidden in the shadows. And yeah, it, it could be. It it's could not also... something that's a brilliant vis- a visage of life. Right. It's it, it could also just be show, showcasing that it's sort of like the doom that is coming. Sure. Like, like, but, but I, I very much like, like that idea too. Mm-hmm. I, um, I just think with what Violet Evergarden has done with lighting, it was yeah. very interesting how the flare lit mm-hmm. up so brilliantly. Oh that yeah, it's actually unrealistic to oh, flares. Yeah. Like that—that that was basically a miniature sun. Like, right, flares don't make that much yeah. light. Maybe on the initial flare up, so to speak. Yeah, but but, but almost immediately that's gone, and it's mm-hmm. basically just this little like mm-hmm. you know gr- burning you know, ball, burning, just, bo- burning ball, yeah. just kind of moving on. It's not but even that, as yeah. big as a firework really but that was like the size of the city like and and when it lit up you know it was one Mm -hmm. of the color of his eyes again yeah yeah uh uh-huh yeah um but also it illuminated i think uh the major so much so i think this is a this is a this is a theory but i think she saw the sadness in his eyes finally she saw she saw something emotionally in him that just made her go, huh? And she was transfixed by it. One, gotcha. because she thinks he's beautiful, mm-hmm. like his eyes at least. Right. And she has a lot of adoration, respect for him. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't understand what that means, so she's kind of ending right. staring, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Violet stuff. Uh-huh. But it was also the thing that was swiftly taken away from her. Oh, yeah. In the light as it was coming oh. on, basically just to showcase kind of I would say a, a repetition uh-huh. of what her life has been like up until this point. Well, t- t- it was taken away doubly so. Doubly, it wasn't just the light that was taken away. He mm-hmm. was specifically shot in the eye, mm-hmm. and you know that thing that she thought was the most beautiful and all that stuff—the thing that transfixed her so much and, and everything. <sighs> and... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I. Yeah. I loved... Okay, okay. Another thing I really loved in this uh-huh. episode. Catalia chewing out uh, Hodgins yes, yes. was amazing. That was awesome. Because you... Oh, that, uh-huh. that, that was great. And, and the, the especially the thing of the... You don't understand anything about, you know, the heart of a woman or whatever. You know, and it's like... And I'm not just talking about Violet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah. And the know, reason why she's, her. you know, mm-hmm. pissed off at him so much is not just because she cares so much about Violet, but she also cares about him. Right. So uh-huh. she's being like, yeah, yeah. bro, you, yeah, what you're are you better doing? than this. Yeah, like, exactly. Step, step up, up. Man yeah. up. Yeah, it's time to nut up or shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, man. And, okay. Oh, I loved it. But there were mm. there were so many parts that were just like, huh, like, there were almost, almost too many to mention. Yeah. Like, all the times with Violet at the manor, you know, where, like, Aww. she instantly just bites the lady. Yeah. It's like, oh, like that. That's, this, 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 like, okay, this is a prime example, and this is why I really don't care if they go into any bit of explanation of Violet or anything like that. Like, details. It's, yeah, details, exactly. Yeah. It's because this is a prime example, and, of course, it would be in something like Violet Evergarden with awesome Kyoto anime, yeah. any, um, anime, a- animation is showing versus telling. yes. Like, this point. entire episode was just a bunch of gorgeous, amazing, narratively and literally showing instead of telling. Yep. Yep. And, th- like... Th- <laughs> like, the, go back to the very beginning 
Of like the show or the episode? Of this episode. Uh-huh. And he's all like, wake up. Mm-hmm. Get yep. up. Giving yep. orders, giving mm-hmm. orders. Yep. She just kind of mm-hmm. does it and stuff. But then he doesn't give her an order to move closer to him and stuff. She He like literally like, like pushes grabs her, her hand and pushes her down. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And this yeah. is something that yeah. I think is another visual little showing, mm-hmm. not telling thing, is that there's a, you know, superior officer and mm-hmm. not superior officer difference between Violet and the Major. Yep. Obviously. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say, you know, salute the Major or something like that or even give respect to the Major. Right. He pushes her down. Into a bow. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Which is like, what the heck? I think yeah. maybe maybe in his mind, if his rational thought mind is actually working, he's basically saying, like, n- n- don't oh, don't yeah, you yeah. try and, <laughs> yeah, like, do yeah. anything here. Uh-huh. Right, right. Yeah. But, but then every moment, every moment, Violet is with the Major after that. Mm-hmm. He's... In some ways, he's actually a little bit standoffish. Yeah. But he's also always looking down at her, and she's looking up at him. And there's this uh-huh. there's this yeah. exchange of where they can't truly communicate to each other. Right. But so much is being connected. Mm-hmm. Yep. By yep. just observing. Which makes it so fitting that, of course, the job that she ends up getting once the major is gone yeah. has everything to do with actual spoken words and rather, connection in connection mm-hmm. rather than what they were doing which is basically right. just you know <sighs> proximity you know presence and caring about each other but not but not actually communicating yeah <sighs> yeah i think that that closest bit where violet asked him a question of am i going to be yeah gotten rid of and yeah. sent and disposed to go under be mm-hmm. the command of Colonel Hodgins, will I no longer receive orders from you? Uh huh. And that, oh, that was the stuff where you realize, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah of course that sounds dysfunctional. Uh huh. But, but like, do you realize what that means mm-hmm. to her? Oh that, yeah. Translate yeah. that to right. Will I never see you again? Uh-huh. That's all that means, basically. Uh-huh. Yep. 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 Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. And 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 basically, in, in right. some ways. He's not able to then tell her what she wants or even needs to hear in that, you know, moment mm-hmm. other than, no, don't, don't worry, you know. That, right. That, yeah. That's not going to happen. Well, well, and, 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 yeah, and it's, 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 it's not just the will I never see you again, it's, do you not care about me? Well. You know, that you would just send me away. Yes, yes. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the least amount of, um intelligent thought from Violet because she is not a very complex individual when it comes Uh to um, internals. Right. She's, she's, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying she's not, I'm not saying she's not intelligent. But, but she's very simple, especially at this point because, because you could say that um, she's not, she is definitely not emotionally intelligent at this point. Yeah. And she isn't able to communicate, you Mm -hmm. know, that much. Yeah. But I think she is able to, Mm -hmm. Uh, understand what it means to have the connection broken mm-hmm. okay that will hurt yeah and, and she's scared of that and the fact that we knew like okay not not we knew because he technically hasn't really died yet I yeah guess. that's true but, but we know that the major is dead yes. gilbert is dead right and yeah. yet throughout all these points of showing mm-hmm. the battle right, right they make us be so on edge about what's going to happen to Gilbert. Seriously. Even though we know what's going to happen. Right? Like, that, I just think is... I think that is just incredible. Like, that goes to show how how well they basically showcase that it's not about whether we know what's going to happen or, you know, whether we care. I mean, we care, but, you know, we, we know he's already dead, so how right. much can we care, right? But it's about how much Violet cares. Mm-hmm. You know? And, the, the, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. So, guys... We ended in a cliffhanger for, like, yeah. the first time ever in this right. show. I mean, last episode was kind of a cliffhanger, but, like, eh. but eh, eh. you know. 
Yeah, I guess it was kind of. Yeah. But this but... one, this one, this is about as big of a cliffhanger as it can get. Like, Even though we know he's going to die. Like, we know he's not dead yet. You but, know? but the thing is, is they're in the wrong place. Exactly. Like, yeah. What's Why does Violet, <laughs> why does Violet's arms get, like, completely, like, blown to right. pieces? Right. It's you probably, know? like, when she killed these guys or whatever. Like, I thought, I thought that's what it was going to be. That there was going to be artillery yeah. fire. Mm-hmm. And it was going to be from friendlies. Mm-hmm. And they were going to keep bombarding. You know, right. because maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is still. It's that the flare is going to go up, but then the fight's going to double down, and they're going to things are going to get worse. And sure. squads, what was it, uh, one and two or whatever, whichever squads that were supposed to delay reinforcements did they failed? Reinforcements sure. came in, and they sent up an emergency flare of, no, ignore that, continue the bombardment. It's not over yet. And in that bombardment, um, Violet ends up shielding the major but yeah, who knows? loses both of her arms yeah well she doesn't she doesn't actually she doesn't lose her arms until until they're they're down below i know she had their arms but they were like useless at that point yeah right um but but uh, <laughs> and the fact that okay like i i guess maybe i should have clued into this earlier mm-hmm. but i did not at all make the connection that when they showed violet with the dead bodies and everything and you know and yes it was the people all like sitting around like observing and stuff but I didn't get that that was in a training thing where, like... like yeah, that's I, why I thought she was an experiment. Yeah, remember? yeah, like, I thought that was an experiment, and they basically, like, just sicked her on some enemies kind of a thing, well, or, or well, whatever. Well, no, no, I mean, I always thought that those weren't people. Oh, sure. Or, I yeah, thought that those that were basically, like, just things. Yeah, I, didn't, like, I didn't know what they right. could be. I thought it was just basically her showcasing her skills, mm-hmm. and maybe if there was anything there... They would be other homunculus, actually. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, and, and we don't know whether we she don't know whether or not she's a homunculus, a homunculus or, not. or anything. But if she was something that was grown in a lab or whatever, the idea is that she killed she all the others and could it's like kill okay, all the others. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. And but, I think that's something that might be a go read the light novel sure. kind of explanation. Yeah, because in books they generally have to do a lot more but, literal descriptions. But that was something that always upset me, or un- not upset me, unsettled me, mm-hmm. was that I remembered that flashback from like, what mm-hmm. was it, episode two or three or something. Like something. That, yeah. And I was just like, when are we going to get resolution to that? Right, yeah. And then Bargain Villain came in and he started talking about his men that they killed, but then they uh, showcased her on a boat right, killing people. Yeah. So, so I-, I was like, wait a minute yeah was she used as some kind of like military like cover-up thing where it's like yeah like they had her kill some of their own people maybe it was that that was part of the training exercise basically Ugh. and she didn't realize Ugh. it was a training exercise so she actually killed people you know and then yeah who knows yikes who knows i mean yeah, yeah. it's crazy guys mm-hmm. but yeah we're looking forward to the next episode. Oh, yeah. This episode oh, yeah. is fantastic. <laughs> if you want to see the next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for yes. our Patreon. You can get an early access there. Any level of support gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us about stories or whatever. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.